Hey, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel, and I've been asked to answer this question number four from the October 2019 International A Level Edexcel Statistics S1 paper. This question is about uh, correlation and regression. It's got a scatter graph here. It says a random sample of 10 boys, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J, is taken from a junior athletics club. Each boy selected is asked to run a 100 meter race and a 200 meter race. The time taken x seconds by each boy to run the 100 meters race is recorded and the time taken y seconds by each boy to run the 200 meter race is recorded. The results are plotted on the scatter diagram below. So for example this boy A, that's the time he ran for the 100 meters race which is like somewhere between, that's 15, I guess that's 16, somewhere just over 15 seconds and somewhere just over 34 there, so just over 33 and a half seconds or so, that's how long he um, took to run the 200 meters race. So for this is this is the time for the 100 meters race for this boy, and this is the time for the 200 meters race for this boy. And the same for all of them. But it says, state without calculation which of the three values below is most likely to be a value of the product moment correlation coefficient for the data in the scatter diagram so the product moment correlation coefficient is given the symbol r and this basically is a numerical value which tells you how closely correlated or how close these li these these points are to a straight line the s the closer they are to a straight line the closer the value of r is to 1 for positive correlation or minus 1 for negative correlation all right so we can see that the correlation there is some sort of correlation is positive correlation and all these values are positive here but the closer that these points are to one straight line okay would give a um you know a closer value to 1 the further away they are from a straight line the closer the uh you know, like if they all spread out all over the place, the closer the value of R would be to zero. Okay, so we can see here very clearly that most of the points are in like a straight line, kind of almost like in a straight line. But you got this point D, and I guess this point I as well, um, which are kind of like it's mainly this point D, which is kind of like spoiling spoiling it a bit for the rest of them in terms of not making it in a straight line so i guess if that d wasn't there it would be you know a bit more closely correlated quite close to the straight line but that d is like an outlier you could say so that would cause the value of the pmcc okay um to be a bit lower so i'm going to choose 0.72 okay if there is 0 0.05 would mean there's no correlation basically it's like they, they would be all over the place here we can see there's some sort of pattern as the person runs far, uh, you know, as a person is slower in the 100 meters they're also slower in the 200 meters okay um so you can see that as the time increases for the 100 meters the time also increases for the 200 meters that's something we can see there's there is definitely positive correlation here okay but it's not it's quite strong without this point here, but with this point included, it's not going to be so strong. Okay, so we can say here that uh, uh, 0 0.72 looks like the correct value. So that shows some sort of correlation, but not that strong because of this point here, basically. Then it says, in the sample of 10 boys, one is the junior champion, is a junior champion 100 meter runner, and one is a junior champion 200 meter runner. Write down the boy who is most likely to be the 100 meter junior champion. Now, be very careful here. The higher the value doesn't mean the better in this case. The lower the value means the better. Why? Because this is the time taken to run 100 meters. The one that, that runs with less time is the faster one, the one that wins the race. So we can see clearly here that for the 100 meter junior race, the one with the least time is C. His time is less than everyone else for the 100 meters race. Okay, so we can say that the junior champion for the 100 meters is C. Okay, that's boy C. All right, we can see that very clearly. Very simple question so far. Now for part um, B, C, sorry. So part C says the data for the two junior champions are removed and the remaining data are summarized below. 
So you have the sum of all the 100 meters, uh, basically all the all the 100 meter times squared and then added together. The sum of all the 100 meter times. And this is like the variance of the y values, kind of how far away they are from the, the mean of the y values, so the measure of the variance of that. And this is the covariance of x and y, you could say. Okay, these values are, are those values. It tells you how y varies amongst itself and how x and y vary amongst each other, how far the way they are away from their means, basically. Then it says, calculate the value of the PMCC, the Product Moment Correlation Coefficient, for the remaining data, and comment in context on the value of the Product Moment cor Correlation Coefficient that you obtained in Part 1. So now, basically, the two junior champions, their um, you know, times were removed. So now, there were 10 students in the beginning, now those times are removed, now there's 8 students. Okay, so there's eight students, that's what we have to know. And we want to find the value of the PMCC. Now, to find that, we can go to the formula book. You go to the formula book, and you see in the formula book, you have this state, the product moment correlation coefficient is, and it's given by these formulae here. Now, the one we're interested in is just this first part of it. That's what we're going to be using in this question, because that's what we've been given. We've given things related to that. So let me just paste this here. Where's it gone? It's up here somewhere. Okay. So now, this is what we need to find. R. Now, what do we? Ha what have we been given from R? We've given, been given S, X, Y. We've been given S, Y, Y. What we need to find is S, X, X. So let's go back to the formula book and see if we can find a formula for that. So we can see here, you have here S, X, X equals, and they've given us, us a formula. So let's take this along to the same page. And let's use that. Okay, so now, SXX we can find. Why? Because we can see SXX is equal to the sum of X squared, which is this. So it's 3445.26 minus the sum of X all squared, which is this squared. So it's 164.4 squared over n which is 8 because two of those students were removed from the data okay so now we can find what sxx is um so let's work that out first take the calculator so you have 3445.26 divided by or oh, sorry not divided by minus then you're going to have your fraction 164.4 squared divided by 8. That gives us 66.84. 66.84. So now we have everything we need. We've got SYY, SXY, SXX. So we can say R is equal to, we can take these values. So we have SXY, which is 60.85 divided by the square root of SXX, which we just found, 66.84, multiplied by SYY, which is 67.52. Okay, so that's the value of these. So let's find out what that gives us. So we're going to have um, fraction 60.85, divided by the square root of 66.84, multiplied by 67.52 and that gives us 0 0.095787 0 0.905787 dot 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 so therefore we can say r is equal to 0 0.906 sf okay so that actually shows very strong correlation very strong positive correlation actually so it says part this is part one found what r is and then part two says comment on the value of the pmcc we found it on in part one so we can say that r equals 0 0.906 we can mention that it has very strong positive correlation 
Now, very important for us, okay, it says in context. All right, so even if I wrote this down, that won't give us the marks because they want it in context. I've written it down just to show you that this is very strong positive correlation. But what they want to see is that, you know, if somebody runs uh, really fast, really fast in the 100 meters, they're also going to run really fast in the 200 meters. Or you could say if somebody runs really slow in the 100 meters, they're also going to run very slow in the 200 meters. Okay, so you can say the faster they run in the 100 meters, the faster they will run also in the 200 meters. Okay, so you should always try to mention the X first and then the Y because, uh, you know, sometimes this, is the, this depends on that. In this case, it may not be uh, dependent, but whenever you got a question like this, always mention the X first because sometimes the X is the, what's called the independent variable and this is a dependent variable. Sometimes in, in these questions, it really doesn't matter which way you put them, but as the 100 meters written first here, so if somebody runs, you know, very fast in the 100 meters, then they you know they will run fast in the 200 meters according to this um, value of r okay so we can mention something that mentions this so we can say as the time for the 100 meters race is faster or is less we can say let me put it another way okay the faster a boy runs a boy runs in the 100 meters race the faster he will run in the 200 meters race okay that's how we could explain that in in context Okay, comment in content. So that's what this shows, a very strong positive correlation. So the faster somebody goes in the 100 meters, the faster they'll also run in the 200 meters. Something like that would be perfectly fine. And that concludes this question, a very short and uh, concise question. It doesn't really take too long. Okay, so that's a pretty simple one, actually. Somebody asked me to answer it. That's, that's the reason why I answered it. So I hope that was clear. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist in this area over here. Click on that and it'll take you there. Click on this link here. It will take you to other questions to do with uh, correlation and regression from S1. Click on this link. It will take you to, um, to basically subscribe you to my channel. Um, thank you for watching. Check out the links at the, uh, in the description okay, of the video. It might be something useful there for you to, to watch as well. See you soon.